fam. Welcome to my channel. I am Dorica, and if you're new here, by all means, get comfortable. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Look around at the content that I create. If you find that you like it and you want more, please like and subscribe. And for my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for coming on back. Remember that you all are always welcome in my house. Today's video, we're going to do sublimation. Uh, we're going to be sublimating on this shirt. It's a plain white shirt. It is a jersey's 21M lower shirt. Um, I believe I got it from Clothing Shop Online this time. I'm not sure, but I think it was Clothing Shop Online. So... If you want to see me sublimate this shirt, what you waiting on? Come on. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So here we are with these prints coming out this printer. So there they are rolling on about their printer, y'all. All right. We're just about done here. Okay, y'all, so here is my Photoshop where I designed this image. Um, I got this template from NALab.com. If you want it, I will link it below in the description. I just went back and kind of made it my own and added my own elements to it. But yeah, I got it from NALab.com and I will link it below. Alright, y'all, so we are done printing out our shirts. So, let's go over to the heat press. So here we are over here at my um, buddy table and heat press. Again, this is the buddy table I got for NALab.com. I no longer use the round board. That's against the wall over there. Um, this table helps you roll back and forth and side to side or whatever. And it's easier um, to press with. So I got this from NALab.com. I will link it below in the description. And so first, I need to put this insert inside the shirt to help you stretch out. I also got these inserts from NALab.com. I will link those below in the description as well. And as you can see, I um, use this, this uh, insert is made out of Teflon. You can wipe it off and reuse it. But in order to protect it um, so I don't, I don't have to keep wiping it off, I use this uh, painter's tape. I've already taped the edges of what the ink may transfer it, like on the bottom of the shirt and on the um, sleeves. And at the top, I just use painter's tape to help protect it. Um, some ink may still get on there, but like I said, you can, you can just wipe it off with alcohol or uh, a rag or something like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and insert this inside the shirt. Folded it first to kind of help me um, get it in there better. Looks like I got it there. So now we're just going to go ahead and free press it to get the wrinkles out of the shirt. And I'm not going to lint roll. Normally you would lint roll these shirts. Um, if you wasn't doing an all over press, if you just doing a partial press, you would lint roll it. But I'm not doing an all over press. So I'm not going to lint roll. Just pressing it for about 10 or 20 seconds or so. Just to get it to lay flat. Hopefully we can get it to lay flat this time.
That should do it. Now let's bring our print on over so we can press it. Okay, y'all. So now um, I got, of course, I still got my um, craft paper down to protect my table. I got my print on here. So now let's grab the print. Let me grab the shirt. And so here's the shirt. And you, as you can see, I've already um, off camera, I put some paper on the inside of this to help protect the, uh, the back collar. Actually, I need to slide this up some more because it slid down. So let me do that. It just helped to help protect. I don't know if you can see. Let me slide this table over some so you can see right here that that paper is to help protect the back collar. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it up some more because I don't think it's up enough. So about right there should be good, and it's gonna help protect the back collar from getting ink on it. More professional. So now I'm just going to flip this shirt upside down like that. Um, actually, I need to probably press the sleeve right here again because I don't want no wrinkles, but uh, I'm going to leave it and hope it don't mess up. Sometimes those wrinkles will show up on the front of your, um, your item, but since it's just on the sleeve, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so... I'll get this kind of even, make sure the sleeves are on here. Kind of tight fit, but we're going to get it. Okay. And again, I put this painter's tape on here to help protect the, uh, the template that's on the inside of the shirt. I got the template from uh, NALab.com as well as this buddy table. And it helps stretch the shirt out more. Make sure everything is on here. As I try to keep the back of my shirt straight because if you don't, those wrinkles will kind of show up on the front and that's what you don't want. So, let me grab my heat tape. And I'm going to tape this down. Actually, let me make one. Okay, we're good. Trying to make sure the front is straight. So let's go ahead and tape this down. And once I tape it down, I'm going to uh, flip it over. Like I said, some people will take this print and flip it over on the front of their shirt, but I don't like to do that. I like to see, you know, what I'm taping and what I'm doing, so I don't do that. Um, it's probably easier to do that for some people, but for me, it's easier to do like this, so I can kind of see how I'm lining up my um, my shirt. But to each their own. You do what makes you comfortable. So now that I've gotten it taped down, I'm going to trim around the shirt and then I'm going to flip it over so I got this table I really don't have to trim around it it's your preference I just trim around mine to make it um, uh, more of it go up under the heat press when I get to that side I don't like that big old piece of paper sticking off but again it's your preference It is your preference. I don't like all this excess paper on here. It is a mess in here. I need to clean up. I got paper everywhere. So 
I got that cooked. And so, now, I'm going to be careful, and I'm just going to flip it over. Like that. And then, I'm going to check and make sure that everything stayed in place. Especially this back. I don't want no wrinkles showing through the back. And then, I'm just going to... Um, Kind of undo this tape some just to make sure my shirt is still stretched out. And that there are no wrinkles. Try to make sure everything is still nice and flat and intact. Sometimes you will move them, just depends on how good you got to tape down. Try not to put a whole lot of tape on here. So I'm just going to kind of make sure it's still nice and flat down here. in case it stick on my image and somehow get on there and leave a little tape spot. So let me check this side. Make sure we're still nice and flat over here. We're good right there. So now let me check this side over here. Just checking to make sure my shirt is still all nice and flat. Because when you flip it, like I say, sometimes it can move on you. Sometimes it can move on you, so you want to make sure that it's nice and flat as best as you can get it. And sometimes you still don't catch it, so yeah, it is what it is. So, let me grab some part, some booster paper. Put on here. Also, going to do something new. I've been putting this Teflon sheet on my prints. Like, right where this little line is at the end of the seat press. Because it will leave a hard line sometimes, I find. Um, I don't know why. It's these expensive heat presses that leave this line on here. So, sometimes I try to put a piece of Teflon sheet to kind of not make that line be so harsh on here. So, that's what I've been trying lately. And it's been working for the most part. So I have my heat press on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So we're gonna let that press, then we're gonna move it on over. All right, so now, let me walk it here. This side. camera stand right there in the way so I can't move this table no further so I'm bringing the paper down this time
that part. So now, I'm going to turn this paper around and get the bottom. That should be our final press, but as always, we're going to check, um, we're going to peep at it to make sure that everything pressed okay. And since you all already know that I use tacky paper, um, and the tacky paper enables you to just peek at it, take a peek at it. If it's not right, something's not pressed right, you need to repress, you can just lay it back down and repress it again. So, let's take a peek at this and make sure everything pressed correctly. Alright. That looks good. So now... Probably gonna repress up here because that paper that I have here, I can see a little print right there. So I'm gonna repress the top, or maybe not. I might not repress it because I don't like to repress really if I don't really have to. It should be okay. It should be okay. So let me check this side. That's all it's fine. And last but not least, let's check the bottom. To make sure it looks good. Alright, and the bottom looks good as well. So we can go ahead and remove this paper. Okay, y'all. So here is our final product right here that's our final product i love the 3d sublimation shirt right there okay 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 i get it i get it i do i do you ain't ready to leave my house but guess what guess what you already know you ain't gotta go home though but you gonna have to go to my next video Please like and subscribe. Until then, bye y'all.